week. We've got the shell basically done. You can see all the bracing holding it. I always get the question, where's your bracing? Where's your bracing? Well, we don't use lumber for bracing. We use chains, much stronger, easier to work with. We got some permanent bracing to put into the trusses today. Hopefully we've got some wall bracing we're gonna do. We're gonna start working on getting our overhangs all done, tails installed. I'm gonna show you guys, I got a lot of questions about why we don't have our trusses come from the manufacturer with the tails already installed. And I'll kind of show you a little bit why I think that is. A lot of questions about how we do our overhangs and our tails. And what we got going on here is a two by four tail. This is for a two foot overhang. The reason we don't have them come with our trusses is because could you imagine them being installed like this on top of the truss, getting slid off the back of a truck or lifted, these things would just stick out and get broke off. That, as well as the fact that we like to install and then make sure it's exactly where we want it. So what we do is we just come in and we, we come off of this post mark here, which is two foot is exactly where we want to be. Okay, and then we pre-drill uh, pre these 60 holes, quarter inch bit for these 60 penny nails. Then they get drilled or hammered into the top of the truss. And with a two, two foot overhang, I always like to throw in a, another 20. I'll do it over here so you can see. Ooh, that's awkward. Just for a little bit extra, but um, that's it, man. That's uh, solid. I know these 60s seem like just two nails is all that's going to hold this thing up, but you got to remember two things. First off, these 60 ring shanks are not easy to pull. I promise you, if you've ever tried, coming out of southern yellow pine wood. And then also, once our steel gets laid on top, that adds a lot of rigidity as well on the uplift force. So that's it, sub fascia, and we're ready for surface and fascia.
Got all of our overhangs on, end wall, side wall. We got our porch defined here. So this is gonna be a gable out. It's gonna come across the front about 11 feet. The peak is just gonna be just offset from the corner. That way we don't have a peak on the corner. It's actually gonna be back this way. I think that'll trim out nicer. I like doing that. Working on getting garage door headers or sorry, garage door framing done. As you can see, what we do is run a two by two around the perimeter. And that is actually what defines our trim. And what this is for is to keep it solid. So when our trim goes on, it reduces the uh, ability to be dented. Wow, good trick, Greg. Man. Like that. Mm -hmm. Got all of our window boxes made up. Got a bunch of two by four windows. We're gonna run, I think, not 100% sure, we're gonna put a couple high windows on this side. And then there's gonna be a couple high windows up over this porch, because there's gonna be a 24 foot deep mezzanine in this corner. So they're gonna have like a downstairs area over here, they'll be able to pull in their vehicle. And then down on this end is where the basketball hoop will be. So we got a bunch of windows just kind of scattered out. I'm actually gonna lay those out right now. Start getting that figured out. But we got this thing about framed up, don't we, Greg? Wow. Hey, you know what we can't forget? What? Cupola framing. We got another nice glass wall cupola going up. I love those things. So Zach's putting this wrap board in and you can kind of see how this goes now. This is what creates or keeps any rodents from coming up into the wall. So you're going to have a solid two by eight ground contact treated board on the outside. You're going to have this solid one on the inside and then or here in the middle and then on the inside we're going to do another two by eight. So that will lock this cavity. It will allow insulation to come down into here. So it'll help protect the slab from getting cold. And that will also kind of lock off inside to outside and no rodents are gonna be able to come up in the wall. So we'll go around and do that. I'm gonna start working on window frames, start mounting the headers and sills. It's got about 10 windows, 11 actually. Customer added a, another window. Did I tell you that, Zach? We gotta make another window box? Yeah, that's okay. got our windows defined around most of the building we got to do a little bit of unique framing right here for a window 
We also got going on our soffits, base trim. Didn't think we were gonna have our, didn't think we were gonna have our steel until. All right, well, GoPro died. So I'm just gonna clean up my stuff. Gonna go ahead and get out of here. It's uh, dark, getting dark, cold, and I'm ready to warm myself up. And I can't wait till tomorrow. Hopefully we get that roof done, get going on the rest of the soffit fascia, and hey, who knows, maybe get Wayne's coat going too. We'll see. It all depends on the weather. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.